Spurgeon here with Revzilla, and today we are going to take a look at the Climb Tundra bib available at Revzilla.com. So if you are familiar with Climb, you know that they are known in the world of ADV, off-road, on-road snowmobiles. That is not what this is for. This is going to be part of their new worker line of gear. The Tundra bib is for those of you out there that are spending time in tree stands, that are spending time in the garage working on projects in the winter months, and you want something to keep you warm as well as dry, that is where the Tundra line comes into play. There's a Tundra bib, there's also a matching Tundra jacket. Getting right into sizing, first thing of note, this is going to be sized very generously. So, you want to take a look at Buzzsaw on my left hand side, stands at six foot, weighs in at 215 pounds, has a 46 inch chest, and wears his jeans in a size 38. According to Climb's size chart, he should be in an extra large. We've sized him down to a large. You can see it fits him spot on. So make sure when you're looking at the size chart, whatever Climb recommends for you, you're going to want to move down one full size. Sizes will range from a medium up to a 3XL, and brown is the only color available. You know, my one nitpick with this is the fact that it only goes down to a medium. And because it's so generously cut, smaller individuals are going to have a very hard time finding an option that's going to fit them. I would love to see Climb come out with a small as well as an extra small version of the Tundra bib. So like I mentioned at the beginning of this, Climb is known for their role in the motorsport world, but that's not what we're seeing with the Tundra bib and the Tundra jacket. Around the $400 price point, this is part of their worker wear line. This is that premium offering to make sure you are warm and dry. So what it does is it takes all the technology that they've used throughout the years, Gore-Tex, Cordura, Thinsulate, 380 grams of Thinsulate for maximum insulation, and it puts it into gear that's going to be perfect for working around the garage, for going out, for going hunting, for, you know, when you're outside in the winter months working on just projects outdoors, it's going to be an option for you to consider. Now, the one thing that I want to say, if you are familiar with Climb, most likely you are used to the fact that when Climb puts Gore-Tex into something, it's a laminated exterior shell. That's not what we're getting here. With the Gore-Tex liner in this, it's a Z-liner which means it's going to sit in between the outside layer of material and the inner layer of material. And what that means for you, the outer layer of the material can still absorb moisture. So this 600D Cordura body on this can still absorb moisture, but the Z-liner prevents that moisture from permeating through to your skin, and it still helps to wick sweat away. But just keep in mind, if you are familiar with that laminated exterior shell, that is not what you're getting here. Okay, so just a little bit of a differentiation from what you might expect from previous versions of climb jackets that you've worn in the past. Main construction is a 600D Cordura, nice, rugged, beefy construction overall. Gore-Tex Z-Liner, 380 grams of thin slit insulation, so a very beefy insulator to make sure you are staying warm as well as dry in those winter months. And like I said, there is that matching Tundra jacket to work with this. Starting with the top, let's pull our way through. But so I'll go ahead and just show us the contemplation pockets there. Perfect, you can just stick your hands in there, go ahead and sit back, give yourself some deep thought after Thanksgiving dinner. The one thing you'll notice is there's a lot of DNA carried through over the entire line of Climb snowmobile bibs. So one of the things you'll note, some differences here, the suspenders on this, you can unsnap them. That's something that's different from what we've seen previously. So you can unsnap the suspenders for easy on, easy off. There's gonna be one main pocket on the front, perfect for holding tools, a wallet, anything like that. And then you do have that pass through contemplation pocket, as I like to call it. It's really just an insulated pocket to use for a hand warmer. If you're out in the garage, you're working with cold metal tools, you just need to warm your hand up quickly. It's a Buffalo plaid fleece lined pocket. Very warm option for you. Along the waist, you're gonna have Lycra, which is a perfectly matched material to give you a little bit of extra flex and extra stretch. So if you do have a little bit of a belly on you, it just gives you a nice amount of extra room and mobility there. And then you are gonna have a fly on this. So easy access for you gentlemen out there. The fly is something that we're not seeing on the snowmobile side of things. So this is again, for those of you out there using this for an everyday option, you can also use this as an overpant. So you can either use it as a standalone or an overpant, and that's really where the fly is coming into play. Working down the main body, you are going to have a key connector. So if you have a key ring or a wallet chain or anything like that, you do have that connection point right there. Minimal branding from Climb. Nicely done when we do see it. Leather patch with the Climb logo sewn on. And you are going to have top loading cargo pockets on the top of both thighs. And the other thing you'll note, we've seen this carry through throughout their snowmobile line. 
you're going to have bar tack stitching at any potential fail point. And what's really nice here is that Climb goes the extra mile. So you are looking at a premium offering around that $400 price point, but it's the little touches that Climb gives you to show that this is an option that's going to be meant to last. Now, as we move our way down to the bottom here, Buzz, so I'm going to have you go ahead and face sideways for me. And the one thing I want to show is we unsnap, we're going to unvelcro this. You have a full length zipper. So you're going to have a full length YKK zip that starts at the bottom and goes all the way up. And you can see, like I said earlier, Buzzsaw is wearing these as an overpant option. That maximized 380 grams of crush resistant thin slit is going to keep you warm. You can really get an idea of how thick this is. Really an awesomely warm option for you to keep you make, to make sure you're nice and warm, but also dry with that Gore-Tex Z-Liner. And then this is something that we're going to see carried over from your snowmobile line. You are going to have a snow skirt at the bottom, a snow cuff, to make sure that you're not having any moisture, any snow pushing up from the bottom. And there will be an anchor point here that you can secure to your boots as well. Now it is going to be a two-way zip, so you can use this as either an entry point from the top or an entry point from the bottom. That is an option that you have depending on whether you're wearing this as overpant or you're just looking for an access point. Like I said, because he's wearing these as overpants, you can go ahead and unzip from the top and you can access your pockets from the top as well. So there are no pockets on the side for this, but you do have the availability to access your regular pockets on the side of your jeans. Buzz, so you can go ahead and face backwards for me. So from the back, again, it's just very simple lines. Little bit of the climb bubble butt going on that we're seeing carry through. And as we work our way down, just one extra little piece of climb branding done with that leather swath as well. So minimal branding overall for a piece that's really going to be aimed at folks out there not riding anything on a motorsport, you know, utility vehicle, sled, motorcycle, what have you, but really just aimed at riders out there looking to utilize something in the garage or outside outdoors to keep them warm in the winter months. And Buzzsaw, you may face forward for me. So, the Tundra bib will match up perfectly with the Tundra jacket, and there's a lot of folks out there utilizing climb gear on their rides, as well as their garages and their snowmobiles. So, if you want to hear more about what they have to say, you just click the info button on your desktop or mobile device, and you'll be able to read other rider reviews from folks that are already out there using climb apparel on their setups. If you have more questions for one of our gear geese as to which climb bib is right for your style of use, give them a call, 877-792-9455, or shoot him an email, cs at revzilla.com. Thank you for joining us for this look at the Climb Tundra bib. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.